Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Minecraft Monday. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Alex's Armory mod. This mod adds a lot of new weapons with their own unique abilities and it's a really cool mod. So let's get straight into it. But before we do that, um, please remember to leave a like on this video if you liked it because it helps the channel out a lot. And yeah, thank you. Let's get into it right now. We're going to start off with this little um, post at the beginning of uh, our little big adventure here. <laughs> so I'm going to start off on this side. This is the tanning rack. This is used for, uh, yeah, what's it used for? It's used for um, tanning leathers, as you can see right here. If we look in this chest, we have shears right here. We have rabbit hide, leather, soaked leather, hardened leather and ravager hide. As you may know, these two are actually from vanilla Minecraft and these three are new. Um, as you can see, they did add some new things um, like a rabbit hide plate, rabbit hide strips, leather plates and leather strips to the vanilla versions. So that's pretty nice. And with the hardened leather, you can um, get the plates as well and the strips and with the ravager hide, the plates and the strips as well. We also have some bottle of fury right here. I'm going to take those with me because we're going to need them when I'm uh, showing off those weapons. So yeah, I'm going to take the shears and I'm going to give you a quick little tutorial on how you should um, use the tanning rack. Well, not the soaked one because you can't place them in here. So what you're going to want to do is press shift so that you're sneaking and you want to click this and it's going to put the hide or the leather in this um, tanning rack. So what you're going to do then is just right click it and put shears in here. As you can see, we can get two rabbit hide strips or one rabbit hide plate. Um, it's going to depend on what you want to make. Like some weapons will um, require you to make um, strips or some will require you to make plates. So in this case, I'll, you, uh, I'll, use, I'll uh, make some plates. Then we can just stay in this menu so you don't have to like... Um, shift right click it every time so we can do this um get some plates right like that as you can see um you will get more plates from the ravager hide but less um strips but from the hardened leather and the leather strips you will get more um strips and then for for the hide uh from the rabbit it'll just be uh normal <laughs> it's nothing special there then um what i want to show you as well is this you, this mod also adds nether scrap nuggets and diamond nuggets. As you can see, um, when you want to make these, you just put one diamond in your crafting um, recipe. Well, in your crafting table, I that's what I meant. <laughs> then you will get nine diamond nuggets and the same for um, netherite. You will get you will just put one netherite scrap in here. And you will get six nuggets. Oh, I thought that was going to be nine as well, but it's six. And right here, we also have a haft and a shaft, as you can see. Making a haft, you will need two iron nuggets and two leather strips and a stick in the middle. For a shaft, you will need two iron nuggets and three sticks and two leather strips. So this will just be the shorter um, like handle and this will be the longer one. And that's just so it wouldn't get overcomplicated in the crafting recipes, I think. And they did a really good job. Then we're going to quickly, um, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how the armorer's table works. So you will be able to craft this with two red carpets, two um, iron ingots, and then um, I think, yeah, two um, blocks of planks of your choosing. So it doesn't have to be like, um, like as you can see here, the, the jungle wood, you can choose any type of wood that you want. So... When we go into this armorer's table, you will see this really, well, flashy box right here. This is where you're going to put your patterns. As you can see right here, we have dagger patterns, we have mace patterns, we have double axe patterns. You will have to put them in right here. The patterns will be found in like structures and just they will be integrated in the loot table of normal Minecraft. And then you will be able, when the pattern is in here, you will be able to make the crafting recipe and receive the weapon. So... You can't make any of these weapons that you see right here in your normal crafting table. I think that's for like mod overlapping so it wouldn't like mess with the other mods. This is 
I really like this. They just add a new workbench and they just add their own stuff and it just stays in their own lane. It doesn't like interfere with vanilla Minecraft. So I really like that. Okay, so I um, told you what's new with the tanning rack and the uh, new things that this mod adds in uh, um, item form. Now we're going to go and look at all the new weapons because that's what you guys came here for, right? So yeah, let's just get into it right now. The dagger is a small weapon with a low cost to craft. This is the crafting recipe. When you use a bottle of fury, you will gain the ability to use both daggers to deal double damage when you're using your normal hand and your off hand. This is a really good choice when you're just starting off in your Minecraft world and you just want a little weapon that can attack fast and do a decent amount of damage. The broadsword is a very thick sword that does bonus damage while attacking illagers. If you use the broadsword alongside a shield, you'll also gain extra knockback resistance and armor toughness. And it also does a decent amount of damage. The hammer is one of my personal favorites because it has a 3D model. It looks so cool. It is pretty costly though, but it does do a lot of damage. The hammer also has its own ground pound ability and 3x3 mining ability. So when you use this on like um, stone blocks, when you shift, you well, when you crouch, you will actually be able to mine out a 3x3 area, which is very cool if you want to like mine long distances, but don't get too excited because this hammer only has the ability of a wooden pickaxe. It also has its ground pound ability, which will stun opponents around it and yeah, then you can just whack them all like it's a whack-a-mole game. The battle staff is a really cool concept for a weapon, in my opinion, because it, it's relevantly cheap and the ability is really cool. You can spawn a whirlwind with this thing and it will knock back all enemies around you and it's really cool. It's like you can kind of... Um, Compare it to like Aang's uh, staff from Avatar and I really like that. Next up we have the fist which will be made out of a lot of new things as you can see. And one ore um, variant like iron or gold or whatever. As you can see we have four different variants and it looks really cool. When you have this in your hand it's actually going to look like it's on your hand which I really like. As you can see we can punch but we can punch better now. And I really like that. The ability of the fist is when you have two of the same type, as you can see, where we will actually double wield them. When you right click, we will actually get the hard hitter ability. As you can see, we will actually punch the absolute living you know what out of this dummy. And it's so nice, and I like it. It's so cool. And it also has its own uh, sound effects, which is really cool. They aren't the best weapons of this mod, but I do like them a lot and yeah, it's just something different. Then we have the Claymore, which has a really cool design in my opinion. It's... Oh, I'm going to sound so weird, but it's so long. What the hell? Look at this. It's really cool. This is the crafting recipe, as you can see right here. Three nuggets and the ore in the middle and a haft on the, on the bottom. It has its four variants, as you can see, and let's look at the damage, nine damage. That's pretty good. This is also our first, I don't know if you can uh, call it rare, but as you can see, this is our first like yellowy color pattern. This is going to be a little bit rarer to find in dungeon chests. So if you find like not a white colored one, you should be very happy because you just found something rare and yeah. The Claymore also has its own ability, the wide sweep ability, which will... Yeah, I can't really show it right here, but as you can see, right click with an empty offhand to apply. It deals damage to all targets within a 2.5 block radius. So because the sword is so long, you can hit a lot of things around you and yeah, that's kind of the gist of it. <laughs> Moving on, we have the whip, which has a really cool design. You can craft it like this. One thing I do have to say um, about the straps and the um, like, or um, what do you call it? Next, uh, <laughs> next up, we have the whip. This will this can be made with a half, uh, four strip straps, and two nuggets. 
But one thing I do have to say before um, I go any further. Um, iron will always be associated with leather. Gold will also al always be associated with rabbit hide. And um, diamond will be associated with the um, dried leather. And then we have the ravager hide that will be used for netherite. So keep that in mind when you want to replicate this um, crafting recipe. But you're using like, let's say diamonds. You will need the dried um, leather, not the like normal leather that I'm showing you right here, because it will it will only work with iron. So keep that in mind. The whip will have a very special um, ability. When you attack tameable mobs, you will have a 0.1 chance that the mob will be tamed, and if you use it on um, hostile mobs, you will actually pull them towards you so as you can see the whip is shouldn't really be used as something of a weapon but more like a taming mechanism or it could also be handy for like if you are playing survival and you see like um, a zombie villager and you want to get him out of the sun you can actually just weapon whip him and he will be pulled towards you which is very nice and should be in normal Minecraft, instead of like using the fishing rod, a whip would be pretty nice. And as you can see, it has four different variants and they all look, look really cool. Now we have the mace, which can be made from a haft and four ore blocks, as uh, not blocks, uh, ores, just normal ores. Um, this is also one of my favorites because as you can see, it also has a 3d model which looks really like simple but i really like it for some reason <laughs> the mace has a really cool um ability if you attack someone with a shield when they use a shield to uh like kind of uh, defend your attack they will they will not be able to use their shield for five seconds after that which is really good because you probably know that one Minecraft player who doesn't stop using a shield. And I'm one of those. <laughs> but um, it can be pretty annoying if someone just spams their shield. So using the mace to just knock on their heads and take that ability away from them is pretty nice. And yeah, if I use this mod in my server, I'm definitely going to use the mace. Um, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to say, um, the mace also does extra damage on undead creatures. Um, let's see the damage. Six damage. That's pretty good. And it has a pretty normal attack speed. Moving on to the glaive. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, I just want to say I love this design. Like the extra long handle and then like just two ingots. It's pretty nice. I, I really like the design. <laughs> I don't know. Um, the glaive has the ability bonus damage when fighting arthropods. So um, I'm thinking about spiders and that's about it. So cave spiders and normal spiders. I don't know if there's any other arthropods in Minecraft, but those are the only ones I can come up with right now. Um, spiders, spiders bane ability, right click on webs to slice a tree by tree area. That's very nice when you're walking through like... Um, a mine shaft there's a lot of webs um, so just cutting through them would be pretty fun with this thing that's a very nice ability to have and in third person it also looks really sick <laughs> wow i like every um little sprite that this guy has made in this mod that's absolutely insane or girl moving on we have the sickle the sickle I don't know why, but I've always loved the design of sickles in games and like I always use them because I kind of associated them with the Grim Reaper, which I find a really cool and interesting character. So this is like a dream come true for me. The sickle in Minecraft, very cool. This is a crafting recipe, a half and three um, just like ores. I don't know why I keep like messing that up, but as you can see, four different variants and the ability is going to be Leeching Slice ability. So it is kind of like the Grim Reaper. Attacking Illagers, Undead or Arthropods has a 0.15 chance to steal one heart of health. Wow, that's really cool. 
Swathing Sweep ability. Right clicking on grass or tall grass will break all grass in an area 3x3 three three wide. So you can actually choose to use it as a tool or as a weapon. I would use it as a weapon because I love leeching the life out of somebody else or an undead creature for that matter. Um, that's really cool. I really like that. Um, let's look at the damage. Five damage. Hmm. That's pretty... Well, it's pretty mediocre, but the ability to like have leeching life and you can actually attack pretty fast with this. Yeah, I would definitely use that in my world. Moving on to the rapier. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly because that could come out very wrong. <laughs> um, this is like just one um, metal rod it looks like. And this is the crafting recipe, a half, uh, an ingot and a nugget. Um, the ability of the rapier, let's see, oh, I pressed the wrong button. Um, disarming swing ability, attacking your target has a 0.15 chance to disarm your target's main hand. Wow, that's very good. If you're like um, um, attacking a skeleton, you can just disarm them and they won't have a bow to attack you with, which would be pretty funny. <laughs> um, the dodge ability, right click to dodge in the direction you're moving. Wait, what? Ooh, that's a very nice ability. And I'm also inflicting some sort of a potion effect, but I don't know what. Would that be like the disarming swing? Yeah, I think it is. Four damage is kind of weak, but like the disarming stuff would be pretty cool. This could actually bring in the ID into Minecraft to like use a lot of different weapons if you know what i mean like have your normal um i don't know hammer right here and then have your rapier right here to first get them get them to lose their own weapon and then use your actually strong weapon that could be a pretty cool strategy right here we have the lance which will be made with two normal sticks and three ingots um the lance looks pretty dope wow that's absolutely insane um the ability is the mounted up ability attacking while on a horse will deal twice your weapon's current damage output wow horses will actually be useful in minecraft <laughs> nightly charge ability right clicking while on a horse will apple apple wow nightly charge ability right clicking while on a horse will apply speed to your horses as well as knockback five to your lance Wow, you need to be riding a horse to use nightly charge. Well, people who like to ride their horse will absolutely love the lance. And as you can see, four different variants. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> oh, my actual favorite from this whole mod, the battle axe. Ooh, that looks absolutely menacing. The battle axe will be made out of two hafts and five ingots or just your ore type that you're choosing and it will have the rampage ability anytime the player strikes the final blow on a mob there's a 0.3 chance the player will get ra gain rampage for 10 seconds i do not know what rampage is but let's check it out 10 damage you do have to wait a long time to attack but you do 10 damage which is very good damage output let's well we will actually need to have like a mob in here to uh f give like the final blow so let's use a chicken i'm sorry for all my chicken lovers out here you are a pretty cute chicken but you will have to die what how did you survive chicken number two you will not survive no i'm not good at this Okay, guys, I do not know what the Rampage ability is. I'm not going to be slaughtering chickens for like half an hour. So if you know what the Rampage ability is, be sure to drop it in the comments down below. <laughs> that was a pretty cringy uh, thing to do, but yeah, yeah. I feel sorry for myself now. Moving on to the Halbert. This will be made out of two shafts and three ingots or, or variants. Um, four different variants right here and 
the ability of the halberd is going to be bonus damage when fighting larger mobs. Um, I'm thinking about, ooh, maybe the ender dragon and um, a ravager, and you will also get the extra reach ability. When attacking with a halberd, you can deal damage from a further distance. Well, let's test that out because we're going to um, be testing um, our damage, but we'll also be testing our reach. We can't hit him from here, but we can from here, so that's three blocks out. We will be able to hit him. Yeah, that's pretty far. That's a pretty cool ability to have. Five damage is also pretty good for an iron version of your um, weapon, so that's pretty good. Now we have the Cutlass. I do not I do not know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I really don't care. We will have a haft on the bottom and two um, or, well, or of your choosing on top and you will get the Cutlass, which looks pretty cool. It's like you're having like, well, it gives me kind of Pirates of the Caribbean vibes, if you know what I mean, um, like pirates. <laughs> yeah, pirates. Um, the ability that this will give is the bonus damage from fighting water mobs. So it does really embrace its whole um, piratey theme. And let's look at the damage. Five damage and it's a pretty fast attacker. So if you just want a fast um, damage output, I would choose this over the Halberd any day. But when you want further reach, I would go for the Halberd. Three different variants as you can see and it's a pretty easy crafting recipe. <laughs> well, we've come a long way, all the way from back there. We are at the final weapon that I, I'm going to be showing to you today, and it's the katana. I, I'm kind of like in the middle of like, if this is my favorite or the battle axe. Hmm, I think this one. <laughs> Two nuggets, two um, iron variants, and a haft on the bottom. And the ability is going to be double jump ability. Right click, <laughs> right click when in air to perform a double jump. Tranquil slice ability. Right click on vines, bamboo, or sugarcane to slice apart drops respective items. So, yeah. As you can see, we are kind of high up. If I fall from this height, I will probably lose half of my heart. But what we are going to try and do is save ourselves with the katana double jump. So, three, two, one. And we also we all we only lost one heart. This is pretty cool. Um, I do not know how I'm going to get back up there though. That was pretty stupid. The power of editing brought me back up here, but I um, just realized I forgot to put a, a dummy down here. So yeah, we'll just have to use this dummy. He's going to get a double beating today. Um, I'm really sorry, Mr. Frederick. Um, yeah, you will just have to endure this pain. Five damage and it attacks very fast. The double jump is also a very nice addition. So I would probably go for this one if I got to be honest. Um, the double jump really sold me. Yeah. My favorite is a katana. Um, what is your favorite weapon of the Alex Armory mod? Um, I suggest you try them out in your own game so you can get a good feel and then comment down below what your favorite weapon of this mod is. Well guys, that's actually going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really enjoyed making this video for you guys. Um, I kind of went like new in this video. I don't know if you can call it like that. Um, all these little crafting recipes, I don't not I don't know if you like them. If I put the crafting recipe next to the new item, if you do, be sure to leave it in the comments down below so I know what you want to see in my next video. And yeah, I really hope you did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe. And until the next video, bye bye.